the good life full of fun seems to be the idea. hey guys welcome to my kitchen another exciting day what a shocker at joe's kitchen today why is it so exciting i'm glad you asked today we're going to make blueberry pie now i got a little serious there because i'm going to share something with you this blueberry pie recipe i'm going to share with you is absolutely awesome it's absolutely delicious so it's great and one of the things that makes pie so delicious is a pie crust so just to save time i didn't want to do the pie crust and the blueberry pie plus you can use pie crust for so many different recipes so we went ahead earlier today we we shot a video on how to make i'm going to say the world's greatest pie crust but certainly a great pie crust so um so take a peek at that video if you're looking for a pie crust recipe or you want to try something different it's a great recipe on how to make a phenomenal pie crust so delicate and flaky and filled with flavor and a little a little old school italy with it. it's pretty pretty exciting so that being said, I want to show you how to make a beautiful blueberry pie, and then we're going to take that pie crust out of the refrigerator and fill it up, bake it, uh, cook it for about an hour, about 375. So preheat your oven at about 375, and this is going to be awesome. Okay. So that being said, how do we get started? Well, what we've got here is we got four pints, four pints of blueberries. Okay. So I got organic blueberries. Look at that. Oh, so when we deal with blueberries. We're gonna add sugar, and you're like, hey, well, how much sugar do I add? We're gonna add about a cup to a cup and a quarter, give or take. And I'll tell you why, you don't exactly know why or how. Um, you wanna taste the blueberry. So some blueberries on a harvest will be a little sweeter than others, just like, like an apple pie or whatever. If you find them real sweet, you're gonna back off a little bit on sugar. If you find them to be a little bit more tart, or you like your pie a little bit more tart, um, like I said, back off, uh, back off on the sugar. If you want a little bit more sweet, you add a little bit more sugar. The other thing on blueberries, a lot of times when you buy blueberries, see how there's a little stem right there? So you gotta just check the blueberries. So I left that one on top for you. So you're just gonna, it's kinda cute, right? It looks like a little apple, isn't that beautiful? So you're just gonna pull, pull those off just to make sure everything's good because you don't wanna get a stem in your blueberry, okay? Now I've got a cup of sugar, okay, granulated sugar. I've got a teaspoon of vanilla, all right? And I've got a half juice of about a half of a lemon there, okay, about two tablespoons, give or take. The other issue you run into a lot of times with blueberries is um, you're going to uh, uh, run into a runny. Anytime you do with fruit, a lot of times there's a lot of moisture off. So we don't want to have it really soupy. And, and not only that, we'd like to add even something awesome to it, like a really nice a bed, if you will, for the blueberries to be in. Almost like a jam is what you want in there, which would be great. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook the blueberries down ahead of time and then we're going to thicken it just a bit, then let that cool a little bit, and then we're going to throw that right inside uh, the pie crust, cover it up, and then bake it at 375 for about, uh, like I said, about 45 minutes or so. Now, you're not going to cook the blueberries all the way down, but what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the blueberries to release a lot of that moisture. It makes life a lot easier. So when you put it in there, you're going to need some cornstarch. So you're going to do a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch, okay, that'll act as a thickening agent when you heat it up inside there. And then you're going to use the other half of that lemon that you cut up, and we're going to use that to add to the cornstarch. Again, if you guys watch my videos, I hate, hate adding any type of water to anything. So if you can avoid adding water, add something that's going to add flavor and depth rather than dilute it and take it away. We also want an egg wash. So what I did is I took an egg and I added some milk to it. Now why do I do that? One, I want to coat the inside of the pie crust with an egg wash. Now I'll tell you why. The biggest challenge you run into a lot of fruit pies is the bottom of the crust sometimes can get soggy. So you don't want to poke it with forks, okay? You would only do that if you're going to preheat the, the pie crust or cook the pie crust and then fill it after, right? So we don't want to do that. We want to leave the bottom solid and we want to hit it with an egg wash and what that'll do is that'll seal it. The protein in there will seal the bottom and it'll prevent a lot of the moisture from coming in, making the bottom of your pie soggy. You know, it won't stick so much to the bottom. Just a little tip. The other point, we want to hit the top of the pie with an egg wash. That's going to add a little flavor. It's going to seal it up and it's going to give it a nice shiny finish. And I always like to sprinkle a little sugar on the top so it's going to look really nice. Gives the sugar something to adhere to. Okay, so how do we get started? We're going to take a pan, which I'm going to grab right behind me. We're going to take a pan nice and easy. Now this is an ideal pan if you can, okay, real easy. And you're going to take your blueberries, which are very unforgiving, by the way, if you get blueberries on your shirt, okay? Now we're going to just add real easy. We're going to add our lemon. Now why do you add fresh squeezed lemon? That's going to act as an agent to start the cooking process. Plus, it's what they do in cooking. It's called brightening the food or brightening the berries. 
so it brightens their flavor just a little bit. One of the other things I always do, I always look for stems. I hate to have a stem in my, in my pie. I'm gonna take some vanilla, put that right in there. I don't know about you guys, I love vanilla. And then one of the best things to add to vanilla, which makes it taste delicious. You guys ever have vanilla and you think, oh my God, that smells so good, it must taste great. And then you taste it and you're like, oh my God, it's terrible. You gotta add sugar, okay? So we're just gonna add our sugar, okay? And that's it. And then what I like to do, before I add the heat, I just like to stir everything up. And uh, I'll tell you, we're coming into fall in Casanova. Definitely best time of the year. Best time for baking and cooking and you know, you get into stews and different types of uh, like a ch roasted chicken or a turkey. Oh, and the pies and the cakes, always my favorite time of the year. As sad as I am to see summer go, I love autumn and fall. Best time of the year, all those nice holidays. All right, so I got a nice, well incorporated and then I'm gonna add a little heat to this. So I'm gonna have you guys invite you over to my stove and we're gonna warm it up. I'll show you exactly how it looks, how it warms up, how it releases that moisture, and then how to add that cornstarch. Talk to you guys in a minute. Hey guys, all right, I just put it on the heat, okay? So now I'm just gonna let time and warmth and as I always say, chemistry, right? The magic, and this will just cook down, right? So there's a couple hunks of sugar, don't worry about that. Now this is gonna get off, give off a lot of moisture, you'll watch. So what'll happen is the berries, as they start to heat inside, they'll rupture the outer skin or it'll come through the stem or the base and they just give off a lot of moisture. So this will just take a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna warm this up for a couple of minutes, all right? And then what I'll do is I'll tune back with you guys and I'll show you how to warm it up to that right temperature, add the cornstarch, and then we're gonna set it aside to cool. It's gonna be delicious. I'll tell you the flavor, the smell. My mouth is watering when you get over this. Oh my gosh, totally reminds me of my mother's kitchen. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right guys, here, I just wanna show you, we're almost done, but I just wanna, now this has been like three minutes, so I just wanna show you, see all that moisture that comes out of the blueberries? And it's just starting to bubble, but you're gonna also see, the, see how the blueberries are still intact? Okay, so we're not cooking them down 100%. That tastes so good, I gotta tell you guys. What I'm gonna add right now, guys, is my favorite little secret weapon, my secret recipe ingredient, right? And that's going to be a little nutmeg, so I didn't share that with you in the beginning because I had it over here and I was all excited. All right, so we're going to add that. And I always like to add, again, I always add it when I warm it up, so I forgot, and I apologize, you guys. Okay, guys, second secret ingredient, butter, non-salted, three tablespoons, okay? So I'm going to pop that in there. Now, I forgot to share that with you earlier. I was so excited, I put everything over here by the stove when I was prepping it. You know, it's just me and my camera woman, you know what I mean? So we don't have a big crew set here. It's just us. So what that's gonna do is that adds that nice silky little flavor. Now, do you see all the moisture in there? So a lot of times with pies, you know, you'll add cornstarch or a little flour inside the pie, but the safest way, the way that it always comes out perfect is to do it this way, all right? And you're gonna wanna bubble it, and get it boiling. As soon as that butter melts, you should be in a good shape. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that cornstarch. I'll tune right back with you guys in a minute. All right, guys, so what I got going here now, it's been about, I'm gonna say six, between six to eight minutes. So the berries are done. See, they'll, they'll start cooking in their own juice, right? And it's starting to bubble, and that's what the key is, because your cornstarch won't act as a, as a substance. It's gonna thicken it until it gets to a certain temperature, and it's gotta be, it's gotta be boiling, right? But you don't wanna keep cooking the berries, so you gotta get it right to that point. Now I've got my cornstarch, tablespoon and a half, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the cornstarch. Okay, and this thing's starting to bubble. So real easy, I'm gonna add the cornstarch to the lemon. Now again, some people say, well, you don't add it to water. Yeah, I get ya, but then you get in that dilution, right? The key here is you just wanna mix it and you wanna make sure that there's no lumps in there, okay? Can you see that okay? I'm told I get my hands in the way sometimes, okay? So, isn't that perfect, right? I'm gonna set this over here, and now with the, with the mixture bubbling, I wanna dribble it in. Okay, and this should be fine. Oh yeah, see it's starting to thicken already. Look at that, perfect. See that, thickens it right up. So it's gonna make it almost like a jam. Now it's gonna be a little bit thinner. I'm gonna shut the heat off. Now, because, oh, uh, because it's still hot. As it starts to thicken and cool, 
I'm sorry, it'll start to thicken as it cools, okay? So I'm gonna just pull this off the heat, I'm gonna stir it. Now I'm gonna let this cool for about 30 minutes. And what'll have, it doesn't have to be cold, but you just want it to be not hot when you put it inside the pie crust, okay? So I'm gonna let this cool for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna pull that crust, we're gonna assemble it, put it in the oven, cook it at 375. Oh. Hey guys, all right, so it's been about, yeah, I'm gonna say about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Now what I did just to speed things up here, I put this in the freezer, all right? And I just wanna show you, see how it's starting to thicken up? Now it's still kind of warm, but it's not what I would call hot by any means, okay? And that's all you want. You want it to basically be not hot, all right? And it's starting to gel up. You see how it's starting to gel up? See how it's coating the spoon nice and thick? So that'll actually get thicker the cooler it gets, all right? Now here's the pie crust. Now we did a pie crust video earlier, so I had thrown the pie crust in the refrigerator. I just want to show you guys, look how beautiful that is. See those big hunks of butter? How it's slicing and marbled in there? Oh, I can't tell you how good that's going to be. That's going to give you that flake. That's going to give you that delicious-ish, right? And now what I've got here is I've got the egg wash. So I'm going to take the egg wash, which is one egg and some milk is all it is, okay? And what I want to do is I want to coat the bottom. Now I already talked about this before. You do not want to make the bottom with holes because I'm putting a liquid in there and it'll it'll seep through, it'll get up underneath those bad things, okay? When would you do that? The only time you'd ever do that is let's say I was gonna make uh, like a chocolate pie or a lemon meringue pie or you know a pie where I'm gonna actually take the pie crust, it's already pre-cooked and then I'm gonna put something in there. In that case, you wanna poke some holes so the moisture can get out and then you're gonna weight it down, okay? But that's not what we're doing here, okay? So I'm gonna take just a little bit more and then what I'm gonna do is put it on the bottom. Don't rub it because it'll undo the dough, right? And then I'm gonna just do it along the sides, okay? And that's it, just nice and easy. Everything's cool, the dough, everything's nice and cold. And I'm gonna put that up along the side, beautiful. All right, so now we're good, right? So I'm gonna put this along the side because I'm gonna use that egg wash on the top. Now I've got this blueberry. Now this might be a little bit too much for that whole container, so that's fine. I'm gonna put it right inside and don't splash it because you'll ruin your shirt. And that's me talking out loud to myself, okay? Look at that, oh, is that awesome or is that awesome, all right? And that'll gel up. So now what I'm going to do is just grab a few more of those blueberries. Look at that. Is that awesome? And now there's still a lot of moisture, and that moisture is going to come out, right? So I'm going to put that in there. Beautiful. Don't get nervous. It's going to be a little liquid. When that cools, it'll cook. More of the moisture will come off. And then when that cools, a lot of that, my, my mouth is watering. That smells so good with the nutmeg and the sugar and the butter. Oh my God. All right, so I'm going to set that over here, right? Look how perfect that looks. Now I want the top. I want that, mm, I want the dough from the top. So hold on, Magic of TV. Okay guys, what I did is I took that top, that, that was in the refrigerator, okay? And I rolled it out, and then what I want to do, I just want to show you something kind of fun or funky. A lot of times you can put cuts in the uh, pie, and that's great. So same thing, this is from the same crust, right? Put that off to the side for a second. So these are nice little cutters, right? You can kind of do cute little cutters. So in this case, you know, you want to make sure the pie is well ventilated because so it's going to have a lot of the, a lot of that moisture that's going to come out, right? So this is just one way you guys can do it. You can do a lattice, you can do a solid top, which we're going to essentially do, right? But this is just a, you know, pretties up the top, if you will, and makes it look nice. Okay, so we're pretty much all set, okay? So now what I'm going to do is, this is going to be the top, right? So I'm gonna roll it this way for a minute, okay? I'm gonna slide my awesome pie oh, right here, right? And then I wanna make sure I get center to center here. So that is about perfect, beautiful. All right, so I'll move it over just a touch. And then don't worry about the top because that'll Oh, that's good. So now what I'm gonna do is I just wanna cut around the side, right? So I'm just gonna, cause I'm gonna fold everything together. My grandmother would be very proud of this pie. We haven't tasted it yet. Okay, great. So now we're set, right? Now what I wanna do is I've got these two sides, right? If you guys can see that, right? I've got these two sides and I gotta fold those together, right? 
So the simplest way to do it is to take it like this and fold it under, okay? So I'm going to do it away from me. I normally wouldn't necessarily do it like that, but I'm going to fold it away like that, okay? And we got a nice design. There you go. And you're just going to go right around. Just do it from your side. Just take your time. Now remember, the inside's a little bit soupy still, though it's starting to get, I can tell already, it's starting to thicken even more because the pie crust is so cold. All right, and just roll it. There you go, perfect, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, without trying to mess with the design too much, right? I'm just gonna push it across like this. Oh, that was good, all right? And just run it right across like that. Oh, I'll tell you, the smell in here, unbelievable. And then I'm just gonna push it. Got a little blueberry oozing. Now don't worry about it. what I like to do. Don't worry about anything oozing out. What I like to do in these cases is because you know it's gonna bubble through, I like to leave this just higher so nothing comes up, all right? Now I'm gonna get a knife and I'm just gonna put a couple extra slices in there. Okay, so I just got a knife and I'm just gonna put a couple of slices in where I put those impressions through. And you just wanna make sure Remember, open them up, okay? Because the goal here, you gotta get some, some ventilation, all right? Because if not, what'll happen is, trust me, it'll find a way and then it bubbles all the way through, okay? So give me one second. All right, so we got some good ventilation. I put a cut everywhere we need it. And now I've got my final, we're gonna do two things, okay? I've got my final egg wash, okay? So nice and light and just put it across the top. Try not to mess your decorations up, okay? Well, they'll come out pretty good, so don't worry about it. Just don't brush on them. And then if you can, try to put a little bit of the egg wash up on the side, because what that'll do is that'll give it a nice finish, a nice shine, and the other point, which I'm gonna show you in a second, is our sugar, all right? I'm gonna put a nice little sprinkle of sugar on the top. Now, a lot of times in cakes, you'll notice when I, I do some different types of cooking and baking, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll use the powdered sugar. But in this case, what I wanna do is I wanna use the granulated sugar on top of the pie. Why? Because it's a dessert, so I want that crunch, I want that sugar, I want that first sweet flavor right on top of my mouth. So let me get a little sugar, I'm gonna sprinkle right over the top. Magic of TV. So I got about two tablespoons of sugar, and then I just like to sprinkle it. Go really slow. A lot of times I'll use a sifter on it, which is kind of fun. And you're just going to go right over the top. And don't worry about it. It'll caramelize a little too, which is really nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Perfect. Okay, a little bit of a mess. I've got the oven preheated 375. We're going to pop it right in there. Now, the trick on the oven is about every 15 minutes, take a look at it. Because you might want to turn it. Sometimes... The oven will cook a little bit browner on one side of what they call hot spots in the oven. So just keep turning and turning it. You're going to be probably a minimum of 45 minutes, if not an hour. Then you're going to let it set. You're going to plate it, let it set, and then it's going to need to cool for about a half hour, 30 minutes. And then there's a really special way to eat it, and I'll share it with you in a minute, okay? So let's pop it right in the oven. Are you serious? Mmm, that is beautiful and that is hot. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to let that set for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna let that cool, and when we're done, favorite part of every video with Cooking Italian with Joe, tasting part. I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. It's warm, but it's certainly not hot. Normally, I'd let it cool a little bit more, but we don't have time, and I'm dying to taste this thing, all right? So so let's just check this out. Now, what I want, to, what I want you to see is I'll just poke a little bit at that crust. If you guys see how nice, see how nice and flaky that is right there? That is absolutely perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we got a nice crunch. Look at that, see that nice crunch? So the sugar caramelizes on the top. Oh yeah, that's good. All right guys, it is taste time. Cook it and tan with Joe. Blueberry pie, awesome crust. Oh my God, are you guys excited? Oh, I'm telling you, if that isn't my grandmother's kitchen right there, holy mackerel. So this is melting, this is still kind of hot. We're still getting, you know, we're rushing this. 
for several reasons. I'm not going to lie, part of it is me because I want to eat it. So we've got that nice caramelized sugar. Look at that. Look at how flaky the crust is. Look at that. Is that, look at that. Is that absolutely perfect, right? And what I did, just to like really step out of the box, I've got some vanilla ice cream there. I'm not going to lie, my mouth is really watering right now. All right, so it's going to be messy. We don't care, right? Normally, I'm going to tell you, let it set for a good few hours, put it in the fridge, let everything get nice and solid. Oh my God, that's good. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh my God. The crust is absolutely, it's so good. One thing I love about a really good crust is it adds flavor. You know, it's not just a texture. I gotta have one more. Can you guys taste that? Can you smell it? Oh, that's good. Mm. Right away, you get that sugar right on the top. So it gives you a crunch. And then the blueberries and the sugar, and there's a little tartness on the background from the vanilla, and then you can just feel just like a hint of nutmeg. Mm. Oh my god. I think that's the best blueberry pie I've ever had, ever made in my life. Oh my gosh. Guys, thanks for joining me for such a great celebration and a great blueberry pie. Guys, thanks so much for joining me today for a great video and a great recipe. Set some traditions, certainly share your heritage. Until next week, guys, bon appetit. Talk to you guys next week. Good life, full of fun, seems.